If you're gonna do any wholesaling or sell any of your own deals ever, you're gonna to wanna to start creating an exhaustive buyer's list so that you can sell any deal you get with lightning speed and very little effort. Get ready, I'm about to show you how to build a bulletproof buyer's list. A buyer's list is just what it sounds like. It's a list of people that are interested in buying real estate and have the means to do so. But what your buyer's list is not is a list of other wholesalers. So be careful to pre-qualify your people before you add them to your list. Start building your buyer's list by adding people who have money to buy houses to an Excel spreadsheet. Eventually, you're gonna to wanna to move your list to a database like AWeber so you can keep in constant contact with the buyers for next to nothing. You can find a link to get your AWeber account set up in the DealMaker toolbox. So where do you find people with money who wanna buy real estate? I thought you'd never ask. First, go to real estate investment clubs in your local area. You can find one in just about any city by going to meetup.com. If you check out meetup.com and there isn't one in your area, then you should start one. Meetup.com is super easy to set up and costs about 65 bucks for six months. And like a social media tool, it'll build a list of people interested in joining your club for you. If you're gonna be a real player in any market, you should start your own real estate meetup group. I learned a ton of networking skills from my friend Casey Eberhardt through his Ideal Networker program. I'll make sure I toss you a link to his program in the toolbox below. Casey's program will show you how to make an impact in any room and in any situation, even if you're the shyest person in the world. Second, go to cash flow games in your area. These are also found on meetup.com, and they're just a bunch of investors like you playing Robert Kiyosaki's game, cash flow. Remember, tell people that you're part of the DealMaker Society and that you get incredible deals all the time. Ask them for their contact information and tell them you'll call them when you have your next killer deal. Ask them what kinds of properties they're looking for and in what areas and be sure to record this in your database. Third, go to foreclosure auctions or sheriff sales and meet the people that are there with cash to buy properties. Next, put up bandit signs in your target market. Just write on a small sign, fix your house for sale, with your phone number and watch your phone light up. Last but not least, here's probably the most controversial way to build your buyers list, but it works. <music> Lastly, run what we call a lost leader ad on Craigslist, Facebook, or anywhere on the interwebs. Car companies do this all the time. They post an ad for a base model car with an incredible price. They know that people will show up to buy that car, and then the salesman will show them everything else on the lot first. Then the salesman finally takes them to the car that they came for, and it was sold five hours ago. Doing a lost leader ad in real estate is actually a lot more straightforward. Simply advertise a property for sale in a market that you're planning to generate inventory in. So if you did business in Lakewood, you'd run an ad that says, fix your house for sale in Lakewood, needs work, Great for investors. Post a picture of an actual Lakewood Junker house and tell your buyers that the house is no longer available when they call, but that you have other Lakewood deals and you'll call them as soon as they become available. Now remember, keep a running list or database on people that want to buy properties and communicate with them regularly. Try to get as clear as possible on what they're looking for and then go find it for them and get paid. You'll see the benefits of building a solid buyer's list in our live stream meetings. And don't forget to dig into the toolbox below to get the most out of each lesson. Make deals, get paid.